All right, so I am back. So I have my three cast iron skillets, okay? As I showed in the previous video, I took some organic cold pressed flaxseed oil. I poured in each one of them and using my paper towels, I gave them a good wipe down to pretty much uh, remove any excess rust, okay? So I've done that process. Now the next step, uh, and what I did was, so I poured um, to get the excess rust off. What I did was I poured the flaxseed oil in uh, each skillet. Uh, I wiped every single area, including the handle. I even flipped it over. Uh, I got every single part of the cast iron skillet. And so as you can see now, it has a uh, kind of a beautiful uh, glossiness to it. After I did that, I did get a paper towel and I wiped it down to kind of get the excess um, grease off of it and any remaining rust. So now I'm about to do the seasoning process. Okay, so what that will look like, basically, again, I'm going to take the flaxseed oil. Okay, I'm just going to put, you know, just a generous amount there. And I'm going to repeat this process all over again for each of my three skillets. Okay, you want to use a good amount. Okay, some people say about a tablespoon, you know, you can be the judge depending on the size of your cast iron. And I'm gonna wipe every single area, okay? It's okay if you have a thick coating because you're going to use a paper towel to wipe off any excess, okay? So see, at this point, um, the only thing that's coming off now on my paper towel is the oil. So that means I did a good job, you know, pretty, pretty much getting the uh, remaining rust off of it. See how I'm being sure to get the uh, handle here okay I want to get every single part and this is my smaller skillet okay so look how I'm making sure to get every single part here I even got the handle okay I'm gonna flip it over and I'm gonna do the same thing on the back put a generous amount And I'm going to get every single area. Okay, so let me do that to all parts. And I'll come back and let you see what it looks like. So, I'm right now I'm doing the seasoning process. Um, at the same time, I have my stove preheating to 500 degrees. I'm going to let, uh, I'm going to put these uh, skillets in once I finish seasoning. And I give them a final good wipe down so that there's, you know, a thin layer of um, flaxseed oil on there before they go in the oven. I'm going to let them um, season in the oven at 500 degrees for an hour so that they'll have a good uh, glossy finish, okay? All right, so let me repeat this for this one and this one, and I'll come back and let you see what they look like before going into the oven. All right, so I have these two done. I'm about to work on my third one. I'll come back and let you see what it looks like. All right, so I have all three skillets. Now with all oil, they've been uh, wiped down the inside, the handle, and even over. So I'm going to give them uh, a final wipe down, okay? It's very important to make sure before they go into the oven uh, at 500 degrees for an hour, it's important to make sure that there's no excess oil uh, that can drip down uh, into the oven at that high of a temperature. So I'm going to give them one final uh, wipe down. Look how beautiful and shiny they are. Isn't this beautiful, y'all? I cannot wait to see the finished product. Okay, so I'm going to give them one final wipe down before they go into the oven. All right, so all three skillets have been seasoned. I gave them another wipe down so that no excess oil will be dripping. And so my oven has finished uh, preheating at 500 degrees. I'm gonna carefully put these into the oven uh, for an hour. So let me go ahead and get them in the oven. All right, so I have all three in the oven. They're at 500 degrees. I'm going to set the timer for an hour. Also have them uh, upside down. 
Okay, so I'm gonna put the timer on one hour. Okay, now after an hour, I'm not going to um, take them out of the oven. I'm gonna let them cool down for maybe about an hour and a half. So I'll come back at that time to let you all see what it looks like, okay? I'm excited to see the finished product. Y'all stay tuned and thank you for your support.